yo, you guys, it's Dr. Tunis back once again with another new episode of The Flash. This episode's title is The Girl with the Red Lightning. If y'all are digging the content, go ahead and hit your board a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll jump right into this. Eobard is on his final day of life. They're getting ready to kill him in the future. And while this is going on, Future Grace is trying to build her atomizer to destroy all the metahumans in not only the city, but in the Americas as well. She is joined by her uncle, it seems like, and this might be in her head. I think it's in her head personally. And she's just going away, just creating this device. The team realizes that Grace still needs another item in order to complete her device. So they're trying to get the CCPD to work with them so they can administer a metahuman cure to those that want it. Thankfully, Joe and Cecile end up convincing the chief to go ahead and let them administer this cure while he's away. With all the craziness going on, Sherlock Wells is worried about his girlfriend and he ends up telling her that he knows that she's a meta, but before they can really even move forward on that particular conversation, Cicada comes to attack them. And then of course, Barry and the rest of the gang try to save them. And it seems like Nora has still has that connection with Grace. Matter of fact, with that connection, she tapped into Grace's hate utilizing the red lightning, that negative speed force. They also learn that Grace needs a super conduit and they find out there's somebody that actually knows how to make it. Nora actually states that she still has a connection to Grace and wants to utilize that, but the team does not want her to do that. They were still worried about Nora from the last time when she was using red lightning. They learn the name of the guy who they need for this conduit. His name is Sebastian. It appears that Cisco knows him all too well. When Barry goes to go ahead and retrieve this super conduit, it looks like Grace had already been there and rigged the place to self-destruct. Ralph has a very crucial theory that's gonna come up multiple times in the episode about how this all connects back to Eobard and how some of this stuff doesn't make sense and how it could go and create an alternate parallel, you know, timeline. Against her parents' wishes, Nora ends up going ahead and trying to connect with Grace once again using that brain device and all this red lightning is going all around everywhere. Barry and Iris see this, so Barry goes ahead and saves his daughter. Sherlock Wells wants to keep his lady friend safe, so he tries to take her to the police station, that doesn't work. He tries to say that he can take her to the Star Labs, that doesn't work, because really she wants to keep her powers. So in order to keep her safe, he has her transported to his Earth, promising her that he will come back for her as soon as all this craziness is over. Nora makes a good point to her parents that they've been trying to baby her and they don't trust her at this point to go ahead and try to assist the team as a hero that they practically raised her to be. That they led her down this path of being a hero and trying to do the right thing and she has a genuine way to help and she's not a child anymore. They completely agree. So, the speed trap that once held Eobard is rigged to contain Nora's red lightning as she connects to Cicada. As Grace and Nora are connected, we see that Nora has a better understanding of self, understanding that the red lightning, the anger that's caused and tied to it is not her own, it's Grace's. And she even apologizes to Grace, I'm sorry you have to hold on to this anger. She finds out that Grace is gonna place this bomb, more or less, at the CCPD with all the other metas. The team gets to the CCPD and tries to take on Grace, but it does not work. Cisco is trying to take down the bomb and ends up succeeding at the end. He was almost killed by Grace Cicada, but thankfully Barry saves him. And everything seems like it's okay. And they have the atom destroying gun. And Ralph puts two and two together. He realizes that this is part of Eobar's plan all along. And then he tries to tell them to stop and not to destroy the dagger. And we learn in the future that Eobard has the dagger attached to him in the future, and once it's destroyed in the past, it's gonna be destroyed in the future. That's how our episode ends. Boy, let me tell you something, I am really hyped to see what happens. Like I, of all people, Ralph was the one to figure this out. I was like, okay, wow, like, okay. I'm here for Ralph. You're redeeming yourself. You're not such a, a goofball of a character. Like he's a real good standalone character. Like he's, he's really a detective, so he's, it really shows. But that just kind of blew my mind that Ralph of all people figured it out. But what was your favorite part of the episode, you guys? Let me know down in the comments, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See you tunes.